more than 200 Malians live in this Paris residence. Among them are Moussa and Fudi, both from southern Mali. The men say the crisis in Mali's north will affect the whole of their country and that Islamist rebels are to blame. They know that if there are no more civilians near them, it will be easier for Mali to dislodge them. The population there are hostages. There are people who drive round in four by fours with weapons in these villages. The people there are terrified. At mealtime, residents share what little news they receive from their homeland. Many are worried. With northern Mali cut off from the rest of the world, it's hard to know what's really going on there. My buddy who used to live here called me the day before yesterday. He told me what has been happening in the north. His cousin is there, but for the time being, he hasn't received any news from him. Fode is worried about the deteriorating living conditions on the ground. He says members of the West African bloc ECOWAS should intervene militarily. I think that by intervening before the other member countries, we can find a solution for our children to return to their classes. Because we have many children who are in the streets and who can't work or go to school. Nyandu is a Songhai from the north of Mali. He recently returned to France from Timbuktu. The town, he says, is now deserted, with government administrations and shopkeepers having fled. Still, he says relations with the rebels aren't as bad as they might be. Relationships are not as tight as one might think. Because even when we address the question of the police, when the police see you smoking in the street, they stop and ask you where you got the cigarette because they are forbidden. This has had the effect of increasing the cost 50 percent. So they question you, they try to wear you down, but you just need to hold out and not tell them where you got it. Young people do that and they don't have any problems. They refuse to say and they get away with it. Yet Nyandu hasn't stopped worrying about his family. News they've sent from Timbuktu has been worrying. Recently, around 20 armed vehicles arrived in the town to strengthen the Islamists' hold there. That day there was panic. I called them many times to talk with them, especially my father who is convinced he won't leave because the last time I called my sister or my mother, they really expressed their desire to leave northern Mali. Like Nyandu, thousands of Malians worry constantly about their families. For many, war in the country now seems inevitable.